Are you tired of having limited space for all your Windows or Chrome tabs? Are you looking to take your gaming experience to the next level? Well then, let me introduce you to this. Oh, that's heavy. Okay. This, my friends, is a 21 by 9 ultra-wide monitor. What's so special about this thing, you may ask? Isn't it just an ordinary 16 by 9 monitor stretched horizontally? And you would be correct. But it's so much more than that. Allow me to ultra-widen your horizons. According to Steam's hardware and software survey, the most popular primary display resolution is 1920x1080, which accounts for 62% of all the participants. Unfortunately though, the same can't be said for its ultra-wide counterpart, 2560x1080, where less than 1% of all the participants use this resolution. So why aren't people buying these ultra-wides? Well, the first and most obvious reason is that there are more pixels to drive. If you have a bigger monitor, you have more pixels, which means, at the same detail settings, you'll need a more powerful GPU in order to maintain the same frame rates. And ultra-wide 1080p is around 33% larger than standard 1080p. And I have some benchmarks here of games at standard 1080p and standard 1440p on a GTX 1060, the most popular GPU according to the Steam survey and the usual go-to GPU if you want to play at 1080p. Unfortunately, I don't have an ultra-wide 1080p monitor to run benchmarks on because this is an ultra-wide 1440p monitor. But luckily for us, ultra-wide 1080p is right in the middle between standard 1080p and standard 1440p. So what I did here was take the average frame rates of those resolutions and average those two out to get a rough equivalent to how the games would perform on an ultra-wide 1080p monitor. Do note, a lot of these games were played on ultra settings, so you can easily get much better performance if you lower the details down just a bit to very high or high settings. The next reason is that, in general, ultra-wide monitors are more expensive than their 16x9 counterparts. Let's take for example the best-selling monitor on Amazon, the HP 22CWA. This is a 16x9 1080p monitor costing around 90 US dollars on the day of filming. Now the cheapest ultra-wide 1080p monitor on Amazon is the LG 25UM58-P. This costs 150 US dollars, a $60 difference for around 33% more screen resolution. But to its credit, it's still cheaper than two of these 1080p monitors, and you have the added benefit of no bezel in the middle, which can completely ruin your gaming experience if you play anything that uses crosshairs, like first-person shooters. And because 16x9 is still considered the mainstream aspect ratio, you could run into problems like lack of support from games or the lack of 21x9 media. Now for media, I don't mean movies because those are already shot at an aspect ratio close enough to 21x9 such that there are no noticeable black bars on any side of the screen. But that's not the case for YouTube videos or TV shows which are mostly shot at 16x9, which means you'll have to get used to black bars on either side of the video. Or what you could do is you could download a Chrome extension I think was called Ultra Wide Video. And what this allows you to do is zoom in to an existing 16x9 image, filling up your whole screen from edge to edge. And although it reduces the vertical screen real estate, at least you can fill up your whole screen. Unfortunately, that doesn't do so well in gameplay. A lot of popular titles, thankfully, already support 21x9, like GTA V or League of Legends, but for games like Overwatch, they support 21x9 by doing what ultra-wide video does, by cropping an existing 16x9 image, effectively reducing your vertical field of view, which is alright when you're watching a video, but it is detrimental to gameplay. Having said all that, if a game fully supports 21x9, and when I mean fully, I mean no stretching, no cropping, no weird UI scaling issues. It's amazing. No words can describe how awesome it is to game on a 21x9 ultra-wide monitor. You have to be there in person to appreciate it fully. 
The immersion factor is just through the roof on these things. Not just because you have a wider field of view, but also because you don't just see gameplay in your center, you also see gameplay in your peripheral vision. It's like you were really there. Especially if the monitor is curved. Because the monitor is wider than a traditional 16x9 monitor, the curves are more noticeable, giving you a higher feeling of immersion. Gaming aside, it also does help with productivity. Because it's wider than a traditional 16x9 monitor, you can have more windows open at the same time. For example, you could have four Word documents open side by side so you can work on four different things at the same time. You could also put a 16x9 game on one side and, for example, a chat window or even a video on the other side. This is a multitasking king right here. If you want, you could also have a wider view of a single window. For example, if I edit video, I can full screen the thing and look at a really wide view of my timeline so I know exactly where my cursor is and what's going on in every part of my video without having to zoom out of anything. It's amazing. So where does that leave us then? Should you buy one of these 21x9 ultra-wide monitors over an equivalent 16x9 one? Well, if your budget allows, and you have the space for it, because let's face it, these things can get pretty big, up to 38 inches, then yeah, I highly recommend you go buy one. Its extra horizontal screen real estate is amazing for immersion in games and for productivity because you can keep multiple open windows side by side without any strange UI scaling issues. If you are worried about stretching or cropping in games, however, you can always play a 16x9 with black bars, or have an extra window open on the side to eliminate any black bars. Whatever the case, I promise that you won't regret it. Thanks for watching guys! If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Please also remember to hit that bell icon to be notified of any new uploads that I make. If you didn't like this video or had any criticisms, please write to me either directly or down in the comments so I can continue improving my content for you guys. Thanks again.